Welcome to New Music Director, your artist, your music, your link. I'm DJ Ems, and today we have Joel Ortiz. I started rapping when I was about 11 years old, to be honest with you all. Had nothing to do with music in the studio, no booths, no nothing. It was in front of my building in rap ciphers. I, I remember uh, that feeling of, you know, like cute girls being about 10, 15 feet away going, ooh, you heard what he said? And dudes just be like, yeah, that's ill. And I just really took a liking to the culture. So I kept writing, kept doing what I had to do. I got discovered by Dennis and Mike. They put me in the studio in the late 90s or whatever. I dropped my first 12-inch on Raucous Records in about 1998 or 99, not too sure. And uh, I never looked back from there. I wake up hip-hop. When I bring the raw into it, I tell people my story. I tell people what it's like to come from the projects with no dad and my mom's on drugs and, and just stuff that, you know, I know ain't going to get BDS. And I know it's not going to get somebody to put on B and BET as far as a video and, and or MTV as, as far as a heavy rotated video. but. It's my only way to vent. It's my only way to, uh, to be therapeutic to myself. When I listen back to my records, it keeps me from doing some things that I've done in the past that I'm not proud of. Hands up if you forever been a hip-hop. See, I'll have a very, very long career in this because of what I talk about and how real it is. My fan base is hardcore. I'll be around for 10, 15 years. You might be number one this year and number 1,000 next year. You understand? I'll still stay number 62. You understand? For 10 years, like this is that dude right there. So I'm all right with, with, with my lane. I don't pull a beat up and say, all right, turn into Joel Ortiz. That's my government name. That's why I didn't go with a stage name, because I'm not a stage god. After the interview, I'm going to talk to you the same way as if the interview was rolling. So it, ge it gave me a chance to get to people to know who I am. Wake up, hip -hop. Super group, Jay-Z, Eminem, Damn, four members. That's crazy because I got I got Biggie Pun and Nas left. I gotta go big, but now we got Pun and Nas, and I'm I'm Hispanic. This is the, the right thing for me to say is Pun, but you know, see what Nas is still doing. Pun. Oh man. I'm hip hop. I don't have a color. I don't have a nationality when it comes to music. This is universal, baby. I can hang with everyone. So. Uh, yeah, I'm still knocking down that wall, but I'm no longer nice for a Puerto Rican. I'm just nice. When new music director returns, we'll be back with Joel Ortiz and The Hook. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? If I could have one superpower, I'd be able to grant everybody the chance to have their one superpower. What is the one thing in life that you could not live without? Music. I need to hear beats when I wake up. I need to hear beats when I'm going to bed. I don't even care if somebody's rapping. I just mean, I need sounds. If you could perform in front of one person, who would it be? Shoot, Barack. I'd, I'd like to spit my letter to Obama in front of him. What's one thing about yourself that no one knows? Uh, my favorite cartoon of all time was Thundercats. 